Welcome to Z Companion Insight on this Monday night with me, Jathan Bartek, our new debate program on ZTV, where we ask you to get involved with the big question of the day. And today, we're asking you if you think the UK tax system is unjust. In the past few years, big companies like Apple, Amazon, Starbucks, Facebook have been heavily criticised over tax avoidance. And just at the weekend, it was revealed that Airbnb, the accommodation website, paid less than £200,000 in UK corporation tax last year, despite collecting £657 million of rental payments for property owners. All those companies say they pay the tax that's owed and always operate within the law. But all the while, working people, small businesses and poor of families say they're being hit the hardest. According to the Office of National Statistics, the poorest 10% of UK citizens pay 43.5% of their income in taxes. That's 10% more than the rest of the population. Recently, Labour and Jeremy Corbyn have been proposing a big shake-up to taxes, especially corporation tax, if they get into power. But the Chancellor, Philip Hammond, says the changes the government's made makes the current system as fair as it's ever been. Tonight, we're asking you if you agree. The UK tax system unjust. Are big corporations getting away with paying very little whilst the rest of us play by the rules? Perhaps you think the current system is as fair as it can be and that the taxes we pay give us the country we live in? Or have you found yourself struggling to make ends meet, not just with income tax, but council tax rises, insurance, premium taxes and more? Are you a small business owner, a shopkeeper that's struggling with recent changes? Have you even been tempted to move abroad? Or does the UK have the fairest system in the world? Let us know, we wanna hear your experiences, or you may have a question for one of our panel numbers will be running on the bottom of your screen. Z companion at ztv.co.uk is the email address. Tonight, I'm joined by a wonderful panel. Atul Bhattak, in 2003, opened his first McDonald's franchise in Southall. Today, he employs over 2,500 people and runs a 31-strong restaurant group. Ajay Kumar Agarwal is a chairman of UK Services in the UK and is a certified chartered accountant in both the UK and India. Krishna Prasad Dahal is also a fellow member of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India and the ACCA and has more than 20 years of general practice experience working with taxes and Pravaka Gaza is here, a former general manager of the State Bank of India. Thank you all four for being with us for this debate tonight. So is the UK tax system unjust? We'll start, no relation, I have to say, <laughs> uh, Atul Bhattak. Yeah, it's uh, Ajay. Uh, Ajay, Ch 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 you, now we know you're not family. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, sorry, continue. Chetan, uh, it is not easy to give away your hard-earned money, um, but I believe it's, uh, it's only just that we all should contribute to our country and we should pay our fair share of taxes. I don't believe in paying a penny more or penny less, but must we must pay to the system so that the, everybody can benefit from, from the system. Prabhak? I do believe that, of course, everybody should pay his taxes, but the system in UK is uh, highly unjust, unfair, phenomenally complicated, not transparent at all, and uh, over a period of time, whether it's labor in power or conservative in power, I find that it's so manipulated that the rich get away with murder. Krishna, agree? Uh, in some way, I agree because there are some in all the taxes and system in the world. There are some uh, plus and minus because it's a man-made. A man, man tends to some errors here and there. That's why there are some. Um, I, I, I'll say in terms of his unfair because there are many instances which I can see there are unfair systems going on because the only 10% of the households pay 43% uh, of the tax where 10% of the richest pay 35% of the tax. That means there is still a gap because the, now the burden should go from the, from the um, uh, poor people to toward the higher people, because it has been more progressive uh, structures should go. Because all the parties already agreed from 2005 to come to a progressive side. 
And we'll get into more of the, of the details uh, in a minute, but yeah. I can clearly see the research that you've been doing and the argument yeah. that, that you're making. Do, do you agree? Uh, I kind of disagree with, uh, with Krishna, definitely, because uh, personal, my personal opinion is the UK tax system is relatively fair. You know, if the problem is that that people talk about in general <clears throat> that it's unfair or this and that, and you you know listen to so many in media as well. But the problem is the misunderstanding of the bigger picture. And the people don't get the opportunity also to understand the bigger picture. So you just not talk about the taxes. What is the but bigger picture? The bigger picture is that, that you should be combining the taxes and the public spending together to see what are the distribution in between the tax earnings and the distribution over the, over, over the overall society. So, so that's where, you know, then you go that side and just see that what the fairness is within the system. Krishna, you want to come Yeah, I, I like to state some, something here. Because, see, I, I can see there are 10% of the taxpayer, which is, um, which is 6% of the people, pay 60% of the income tax. Yeah? And 1% of the, percent of the taxpayer, which is th pay the 30% of the income tax. There is no equal distributions. Because it has to be, because w w the, the mechanism right now in the equity tax taxation is neither, you can say, progressive, neither fear. Prabhaka, you, you were talking about it being unfair. Do you think it, it's poorer families, working class families that are, are hit the hardest? They hit the hardest because in this country, the less educated you are, the more tax you pay. Because uh, if you earn more, you require an accountant to settle your dues. And what does he do? He, uh, he and his group, firstly, they go to the parliament, manipulate the whole system. Because they have a revolving door between uh, the civil service and the accountants. So the accountants tell the civil servants what to do. They become accountants sometime. That goes on that way. And the whole system is manipulated in such a way that the rich don't pay much at all. And in this country, what's happening, one more thing that's happening is even when it's leaked out that a particular group is not paying what they should, and they're, they're putting everything offshore, no action is taken by the serious fraud office. So the big so businesses are using accountants. Uh, we have accountants, two, yeah. two accountants. <laughs> hey, you're, you're, yeah. Very well. Uh, uh, it's it's yeah. all your fault. <laughs> yeah. Fair? Yeah, so I would say it's, it's <laughs> fault. Means the thing is... Uh, you know the loopholes, though. Yeah. Means once you come to the tax system in UK, right? So. I kind of, to some extent, I can agree that it's a complex test system rather than the unjust or unfair. And that complexity which the system has created has given possibly the, uh, the bigger organizations to, to find the loophole in between. And then they go somewhere, you know, to different territory to have their head offices or, you know, they, they take offshoring or something like that to use the whole system and to use the loophole to pay to, to find a way to pay the less taxes. Let's just take a look at, at yeah. that then. I mean, we mentioned it in that opening video. Facebook paid just 2.6 million pounds in tax last year on sales of 840 million pounds to minimize tax. They gave staff huge share bonuses, moved money overseas to other branches to avoid corporation tax, currently charge at 20%. Amazon, you were talking about basing yourselves abroad, basing yep. themselves in, in Luxembourg. They have yep. a huge operation in the UK. They paid four times less tax than local businesses there. And we know about Ireland and Apple, of course, uh, giving them a sweetener deal. The EU says Apple now has to pay 11 and a half billion pounds in unpaid taxes, which uh, still hasn't been been paid. So are you saying in this system, and these are examples here as well, none of these companies, we should say, are doing anything wrong. They're operating within the law yep. and paying the tax that they yep. owe. But at the moment, the system is very much for them, is it, and, and against the average Joe? Exactly. Like I said, the accountants tell the parliamentarians what to write down. And uh, they read down in such a way that the big companies can utilize these loopholes. The loopholes are actually given to the parliamentarians to co confer it in law. That's uh, one uh, system. Like you said, the big companies are just uh, utilizing the tax uh, legal uh, system as such. The loop, what do you call it, the loophole or provisions or measures. But at the end of the day, this is just a systematic tax evasion. It's called tax avoidance, very, very euphemistically but it's pure tax evasion created in such a way that everything is legalized and formalized. To an ordinary man like you and me, it doesn't look as if it is tax evasion. 
but the whole system is created in such a way that you can dodge tax and make it look legal. Well, I don't think it's, uh, that is done deliberately yeah. to avoid tax. I, I think like any system, it will have its uh, plus points and negative points. It will have its pros and cons. So I think over the years, the government have closed many loopholes. Yes, there's some examples that you mentioned earlier on. Yes, they are bad examples, but that is an exception rather than the rule. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm a businessman, and I would say, you know, small to medium-sized firm, and I employ nearly 3,000 people. I pay my fair share of taxes, and I think everybody should pay taxes, and I'm proud that I pay my taxes fairly to this country so this country can function. Yes, there will be some people who will try to to exploit the loopholes if there are any, it's government job to cut down those loopholes. And if you remember, a few years ago, you could pay your student, your children's fees, school fees through before you draw taxes out of your company. You could run your car through through your company. All those loopholes have been closed. So much so, you could even entertain your clients, take them overseas, and all those loopholes have been closed over the years. Now, I think the government is working, uh, both governments, Labour and Conservative, are working to close the loopholes so that the big corporations like Facebook and Amazon cannot exploit those. Well, yeah, I mean, let, let's just get on that point that the, the Tory government says they're cracking down on, on non-doms back in 2016. Rules are being implemented very slowly, they say, but they are working to hit harder on the big corporations to make sure that they're paying what's due. Do you think then really these stories about Amazon or Starbucks or Apple or Airbnb most recently at the weekend is giving everyone else a bad name? Yeah, I think so. Um, but but the most important thing is, uh, if, you, if you remember, when, when the, when the uh, Starbucks case come up, a lot of the customers were up in arms, and Starbucks decided they're going to voluntarily pay a certain amount of taxation. Now, the consumers, the government, and also the people who live here, we need to voice our opinion and say, hang on a minute, it is not fair that everybody around this table, we pay our fair share of taxes, but there are certain corporations that don't do it. And we should challenge them, and the government needs to bring legislation to make sure that those loopholes are closed and everybody pays their right, fair share. Do you think that's a, a fair point? It's only just a few of these corporations, or do you see them all actually playing the game, but just to a certain different level? I remember seeing this uh, on TV once when Google was asked, that uh, they're not paying enough tax. Mm. And they, they were in front of the US Parliament, you know, one of those uh, committees, treasury committees. So the Google president said, we pay our taxes according to the laws made by you. If we want us to pay a different kind of level of taxation, please change the laws. But don't blame us for not paying enough tax. I am paying the tax according to the laws made by you. And who makes the laws? The laws are made by, like I said, the accountant leaving a lot of loopholes in that, so that again these bigger companies can I, be. I, I disagree. I, 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 we have 17 <laughs> thousand pages of taxation. Taxation yes. book in this yeah. country is 17 to 20 thousand pages. Yeah. Why don't we have a simplified uh, book on taxes, like say Hong Kong, 350 pages, so that I understand as a simple uh, small company owner yeah. what I can, like you said, I can't drive and uh, I can't take somebody, I can't fill petrol. These are things that I don't know at all. I just whatever money I get, I pay tax yeah. because no, yeah. no accountant has ever told me. Please do don't pay the full tax. Please, these are all the exemptions that you can get. No, so do you think so it really counts as anyone who understands? No, so very complicated. <laughs> that's what they are doing. They are doing a system to keep themselves so going. <laughs> yes. You know, to keep that's, that's, what what I mean. that's what I want to say. You know, like there are two things. Like yeah. the f you said that is the simplicity you want in the taxation yeah. system. We can argue on that. That what sort of simplicity you want like in the Swedish system? system yeah. Either you say that the government should reduce the tax, or you say that the government should do a tax which is on the flat basis, yeah. right? Yeah. So flat tax rate. So that's that's a simplicity thing. So that, that that's your opinion. What you and the complexity side, right? It's not the loopholes is created intentionally, right? That loopholes come from the complexity. And from where the complexity comes is that from us. Because we ask all the time from the government that reduce the tax, reduce the tax, reduce the tax from where they are going to get the money for the public spending, right? So if you ask them to reduce the tax on one side, they'll find a way to take the tax on the other side. And then the other side, they have to make it complex because they want more and more taxes or more and more money to to spend on the public fund. So that's why I said, you know, we should be looking at the balancing approach, neither the tax, neither the, the public funding. We should combine together and just see, you know, what exactly the overall uh, view. My concern is, basically, the, our <coughs> concern right now is whether the, why the big corporates are not paying the tax. It's not uh, balancing the by the 
government, our main concern right now is that why the big corporations are not paying the tax. Why they want to take the tax somewhere outside, offshore, so that they don't pay the tax. Yeah, that's basically the all. This is the due to the uh, legislation is allowing. And you think that needs yeah. to change. You think yes. the government needs yeah. to do more? Only tax man, the, the tax man can't do anything. HMRC can't do anything until and unless CMPs or tax man. Well, or this have to start one kind of list. This government yeah. says it is, yeah. is, is bringing in changes. Yeah. Labour, of course, proposed a lot pre-election about what it would do in terms of corporation taxes. Well, we'll talk about that. And it's interesting, are there alternatives? Do you think this system isn't fair? What should be brought in? We'll talk about that. And I want to talk about small business as well, because uh, certainly a lot of the talk this year in the lead up to the election, the concerns around small businesses, shopkeepers, shops on the high street saying they're being hit the hardest. All the big corporations have the perks not them. Uh, if you're a small business owner, we particularly want to, want to hear from you tonight as well. But this is all going towards a general conversation of everything is skewed for the corporations, but it's Joe Blogs like you and me, those of us that work not in that capacity that are having to foot the bill. Get involved. The numbers are running on the bottom of your screen. You can email us too. I'll be back with the panel on the other side of this break. Yeah. <laughs> because I do later on, the last bit I want to look at other countries. I know you sort of brought it in there, yes. which is fine. Yeah, we can and, talk about, yeah. we can and talk other about kind it. of ideas, yeah. yes. you know, are there yeah. other ways of working? So I'm sure we've all got. I don't think anyone here would say it's perfect, whether they think Nothing it's fair or not. Yeah. 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 I'm uh, sorry, why have, we, why have I got this name wrong? I have Uthel. Bartek here. Oh, I said Ajay, did I? No, I said Ajay. He's Ajay. I called you Ajay. Oh, you called me Ajay. Oh, that's yeah. I thought yeah. I had called you Ajay. No, no, no. no, no I'm calling fine. your names. Fluently. That's OK, don't worry. You can get my name wrong. That's, that's fine. fine. <laughs> 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 I got your name wrong, yeah. That was OK. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd called you as a hang No, no, no. You called me right. Oh, yeah. right. That's why for the rest I was like, all right, I'm no, just going to no, do no, this. No, 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 no. I don't know. Krishna Prabhupada. No, I just had that. That's the funny thing, because I've worked for years on radio, where, of course, we can constantly yeah, be doing yeah, yeah, all well, of this we'll stuff. Just, yeah. But the moment you try it on this, like the camera. Um, no, it's all good. The um, like, like accountants who often no, do Now we go for the small business, yeah? In the next. Yeah, we'll talk about smaller businesses. Uh, I want to talk a little about self-employed yeah. later on. Yes. Yeah. Better, or what's the thing we can change? Yeah. Um, but I mean, yeah, it's a kind of general. If there's anything else you guys want to bring in, yeah. um, what is it, the pay on rateable value? What's it called, is it? Rateable. Rates, you know. Rates. Business rates. Business rates. Yeah, business rates. Yeah. Business rates. Yeah. Yeah. You're happy with them, I'm sure. No, no, I'm not happy with them. Yeah, but I'm not happy with them. You look so happy about it. No, I'm saying, but, 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 but yeah. I'm not happy with them, but it's, but what, but my point is, if you don't pay, well, no, you're going to pay what you want to pay. Otherwise, they'll come and take away your house and all that. So you're going to pay what you want to pay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's not the issue. Pay. You have what you yeah. Yeah. have to pay. Correct. No, yeah. yeah. So whatever the rules are, you got to pay by the rules. That's okay. Yeah. The question yeah. here is that whatever you pay is just or not. Yeah. Just or not. <laughs> no, you have no, to pay. Not, yeah. no, no, that's no, no. the thing. You got the issue wrong. Is the tax system fair yeah. or unfair? Yeah, that's fine. The system. No, the system. You know, I would say, you know. Okay. Sorry. Very close to them and very stable. Oh. No, no. You stay where you. Yeah, okay. Yes. Sorry. Thank you. And try to face your body towards that camera and that camera. That camera and that camera. Yeah. Okay, this camera. Which Ajay is hiding it so that you are not seen at all. And no, I think uh, should yeah. I focus on this the camera? The fairness or? increases. But I'm fine. Body, yeah, you're fine. Yeah, you have to be professional. That's what I said. Next time you get white. two fair people for fairness and two dark fellows for you know. <laughs> Unfair. <laughs> Gora or Kala? Gora or Kala. Bhagav, you need to adjust your frame on your camera sometimes. White lena, white pele. Is that showing it, isn't it? I was going to get you to do it. 20 seconds, 20 yeah, seconds. Nothing, I'll fix it. 